Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two, climbing the ladder, and we have started our new job. We are at Sportverein Lebendorf, SB Lebendorf, and uh, looking forward to it. Haven't played a match with them yet outside of the friendlies. You guys know I don't control the friendlies anyway. <laughs> Never have. Uh, so here is what we look like. Uh, now, let's see, when did I exactly start? Uh, job history. Okay, so we need to go there. Head coaches. So I joined on 630. All right, so they had already played these two friendlies and lost pretty handily, 4-0 to, to, to police. Uh, so my first match was against Badoos. Um my tactics, I did set the rosters and uh, started hiring staff and doing all that other stuff. So we had a 2-0 clean sheet uh, win. Daniel Beck with two goals, including a penalty. Uh, Dornburner, 4-2. Uh, we gave up a brace to Marcus Hartman, but Stefan Gobb, Christian Deckelman, and Marek Havnerek. Hov it's going to take me a little while to get the names uh, all with goals. Deckelman with a brace. 2-0 over Burnley. Uh, Deckelman with a brace. They did have a player set off in the first minute. That was awesome. And uh, Gleisdorf 09, 4 2 win in the OFB Cup first round. Uh, let's see. Armin Ellers, Demos Palastaris, Evgeny Petrov. I have no idea on that one. And Philip Sommer with goals. We did give up two. Christian Henrik, Heinrich and Kevin Muller. And then we lost to Heidelheim 3 1. Uh, Philip Kohler got the goal. Richard White got a hat trick against us. We were actually favored in that one and just, uh, eh, you know. And you can see we're drawing uh, 1,846 to our home stadium. And I believe we said that was a 2,000, 2000 capacity with 200 seats. So we need to get more seating in there first and foremost, right? But we're back for matches today, so let's hop into it. Let's take a real quick look, though. Uh, we are season preview pick mid-table, 7th out of 15, 12 to 1 to, to stay up or to win. So definitely outside the top group, but you know, leading quite a big chunk of the rest of the pack. So uh, let's get to it. I am excited to start my career here at Lebendorf. We're playing at home against BW Lens today. We are favored, so we're going to go to our home tactic. Uh, playing the same 4-4-2 tactics uh, with a defensive midfielder. Now, we do have some injuries. Uh, Sasha Lubke is out for five weeks. Uh, he was injured, a uh, calf strain in that loss to Heidelheim. Uh, Malachik is out for three more weeks. Uh, he was hurt against Gleinsdorf with a damaged foot. And Daniel ba Basler, I had to relook at his last name, he'll be out four more weeks. Twisted ankle, suffered in training. Uh, we have a few other guys, Costman. I did play pretty heavy rotations just to kind of get everybody some match fitness. So uh, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, so we're looking at Summer and, oh God, Cotton. I don't know how to pronounce the B, but it's Cobman to me. Uh, Coleman, maybe? I don't know how to pronounce that. If anybody knows how to pronounce that that funny-looking B that I don't have on my keyboard, let me know, and I will try to pronounce it right. But uh, right now, I'm going to go with Coleman. I'm going to go with Coleman. Uh, Ellers and Beck on the wings. Beck has been pretty impressive thus far. Petrov in the central. Polisteris in that defensive mid. Uh, Fikes... Spike Tinger and Brush on the wings in the back line. Alta Brower and Kurt. Alta Baumer. Kurt and, in the central mid and Henneke in goal. Uh, we do have Gab, and he is not a keeper. I do, do kind of like him. He's got really good crossing. Can't pass as well. Ellers is 23. He's 27. Those guys are pretty close. Let's see. Do we have... Uh, yes, we do. All right. So Gab is actually a four-star. And Elmer's, Ellers, 
Ellers is actually really good as well. So we have two really good players there. Uh, can either one of them play? And neither one of them can play anywhere else. So they're just gonna they're just gonna kill each other on time. I probably gut would tell me to go with the younger player if all things are being equal. Uh, Deckelman is gonna get number thirty four with the old auto number. All right, we're gonna encourage them. We're gonna give the faith speech for the first match to open the season. Doesn't really help anybody except for the attackers. And we are in red today. Home red, not my favorite color, being a Leeds fan, but that's all right. All right, five nil on shots, two on target. All right, let's encourage them to get creative. We're waiting on a highlight. They're playing a 4-4-2 as well. All right, demand more. <coughs> Brosh is a little pressured. Kurtz picked up the first yellow of the season. Five of nine. That looks like deep in their end. Oh, taken away by Beck. He drives into space, and he gets deflected by the keeper. Good drive by Beck. Showed some initiative getting into the attacking zone. Looks like he's going to be our set-piece taker as well. Get to the ball, man. You got to hustle a little quicker than that, my friend. Oh, here we go. This is an opportunity. Let's head it in. Oh, goes high. All right, well... I'm going to call that a pretty dominant first half, but we've struggled for possession. Um, we're working the ball into the box. We've got a much lower tempo. We've got shorter passing. So there's really nothing, there's really nothing I can do in there, I don't think. All right. Um, no, I'm not going to tell him that. I'm... Uh, we've been the better team and you you know what you get you get the calm speech all right a kickoff highlight that doesn't bode well all right come on boys it would really be bad to dominate the first half here and then give it up on the kickoff highlight of the second half right <laughs> Right, he clears it out. Ball staying around midfield. Uh oh, that was not a good finish by Wellmeyer, but that counts as a shot. They are off the mark. All right, let's uh, push forward. Christ, and that's going to be a penalty. I think that was a bad call. And is he going to be sent off? He is sent off. Oh, my God. All right. Um, so let's collapse into an away. And then Coleman can actually play mid-center, yes? Now, how was his passing? He's got 10, so he's not horrible. And we're going to drop this to a balanced. Do I want to make any other changes right now? I don't think so. That's going to be a hell of a way to lose a game. I don't think that was that bad. I don't think uh, an English referee would have uh, called that penalty. Evidently, they're a little more touchy in Germany. It's good to know. We'll have to dial back. Maybe take off to get stuck in. All right, we need to show some passion. All right, good deflection. All right, they work it back to try to break us down some more. All right, just let him go right by. And the rebound to Jochen. 
Wimmer, Waymeyer. I don't know. I know Meyer, but Wimmeyer? That's, that's going to be brutal, guys. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to ask him to show some passion once. We, oh, no, we just, okay, they just got this shout. All right, come on, Henneke. Building from the back. There's a good ball. Summer, he's looking for somebody. Lays it off to Beck. Oh, there's a nice ball through to Beck. Gets across off the touch. The header goes high. All right, let's go ahead and pull a couple of subs here. I want to do, let's see. Viltar, he doesn't have much in the way of pace. He's going to be a last resort guy. I'm still trying to get used to a few of these guys. Um, Ellers is playing, but, you know, I want to bring on, I think Gab will be a big sub. Those two guys will probably come in for each other pretty regularly. Just, you know, for fresh legs. Uh, Summer is playing well, but we could use another good striker if we've got an option, which honestly we don't. Now, he's got a lot of pace, and he's got decent finishing. He can't head the ball. Let's bring him in for Summer. All right, we'll go with that. Show some passion. All right, they're fired up. You know, the penalty was unlucky, I think. And then the rebound off the keeper for that second goal was real cheap. So I'm not going to lose my mind over this. But, yeah, disappointing match. You know, we, we need better than that. And, of course, uh, our, young, uh, our young player there is going to get fined two weeks salary. Boy, boy. Yeah, fine two-week wages. All right, let's take a quick look at transfer news just to catch you up on that in case you missed last episode. So we sold out 215,000. Bunch of couple of guys on freeze. Uh, Burned Bowl, a uh, 33-year-old Austrian, goes out. Florian Muller, a 33-year-old Austrian. Hans Letterer, 33-year-old Austrian. Uh, he goes out. Christoph Adstalt. He goes out for a good chunk. He's 33. You see a theme here? Jan Furch, 31, and Alfred Scheinholder, 19. Now, he is uh, he went on a free. He has three pace. Yeah, he just wasn't going to make the team. Well, he is a goalkeeper, but, you know, we were pretty deep at goalkeeper. Uh, bringing in uh, Co Cobman or Coleman, a 21-year-old Austrian striker, number 10, uh, like him. Roman Malachik, 22-year-old right defender. Uh, like the way he looks. Leif, Leif Eamon, Eamon, maybe. Uh, he's he's more depth. I needed striker depth. Daniel Beck, I like him. And we got him on a free. Gab, we got him on a free as well. I was expecting to only get one of those guys, but we ended up with both of them. And Philip Sommer, our primary striker was our big drop of money 210,000 but we sold 215 to pay for him all right well, let's get into our next match so we'll be back for that here in well actually that's a friendly is it not so yes we'll be back for uh, the next league match i'll get through spal on the friendly so we'll see you guys back here in a second <laughs> All right, so uh, we drew that uh, friendly 3-3, but uh, let's come back real quick and just kind of get a feel for where we're at. Now, you guys, if you're watching from Europe, you're probably like, oh, yeah, we know right where that's at. I'm from America. European geography is not my forte, but I do know Austria is right here, and Germany is here, and France and Spain, so I know where the main places are. It's it's all the little places that either have changed names or, you know, like there used to be a Czechoslovakia, and now it's something else, and I couldn't tell you what it is now, and I apologize for that, but, you know, that's how it goes. But anyway, here's Austria, so let's zoom in a little bit. A lot of roads, a lot of roads, and a lot of green. At least it appears to be a lot of green. 
All right, so we've got a river running through the area. All right. Now, I, there it is up here. All right, so it looks like, I don't know if these are like heavily forested areas or what those are, but those appear to be uninhabited for the most part. So we've got a main road, the A22 coming down here, and then 50, uh, S1 coming off this way. But here is our stadium. So it looks like we've got uh, maybe this, this is like the center city here. We've got a little suburb out here. What the heck is that? Is that a rock quarry? Oh, a restored medieval castle. Uh, that would be on my visit list. I'm I'm huge into medieval and you know ancient European uh, castles and stuff. That would be that's right up my wheelhouse. Digging that parking lot. I guess you have to walk down the road. I don't see anything cut through the trees. But there is our pitch. There is our pitch. Tennis courts over here. I guess that's uh you know just to keep the players in shape. This is probably uh, this is probably my private parking, right? All right, well, let's see if we can. No street view, no. I want to get a street view if I can get down here, no. Maybe Austria did not sign off on the uh, click highlighted areas to see images. Um, I'm looking, guys. I am looking. It is not gonna give me a view here. Usually there's blue lines on the map to click on. What's the deal? Do we not have any? Ah, look, they're way over here. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Looks like we have some over here, yeah? So we can go see the castle. Oh, there you go. So yeah, there there is there is stuff here. All right, let's back out of that. But there's nothing over here at the stadium. Come on. All right, well, let's see if we can click on that and get some pictures here. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, there don't appear to be any pictures of the stadium. So let's move on with the match. Uh, so we will find a place to live and all that other stuff um, that I don't spend a lot of time on because, you know, it's all make believe, but that's cool. Uh, but anyway, matches. So we've got a couple of guys coming back, not quite ready in a few cases. <clears throat> We're on the road today. We're underdogs. So let's plan accordingly. And I think I'm going to give Gab the start today, or Gob. So we'll go with Gob on the left, Beck on the right, Summer and Coleman up top. We are pretty weak there at left back. We do have a new signing. We'll look at him after the game. He is en route to the club, I believe. So we have registered him, and he is available. That's one of the nice things. Ooh, they're playing a 4-3-3. That is one of the nice things about the uh, registration rules is it's just a flat-out number of players, and you can, you know, and just the only limitation is seven foreign players. So that's good. All right, we are in the red again. Yeah, just let him get in there. Oh, my God. Henneke with a great save just popped it right back and Arnsberger put it into the net first goal of the season and we are down five minutes in uh, show some passion all right looks like a foul that sets up a set piece just outside the box into the wall good defense all right, cleared out. Sommer on the counter. He's got a runner. He's got runners. Uh, he takes it in and takes a long shot. Oh, my God, what a finish by Philip Sommer. His second goal of the season, 
and he was not to be denied on that one. Wow, big counter. He had runners. He had somebody he could have played through the middle. He had somebody out on the right wing. He just split the defenders, and he popped it in from about 30 yards out. Boom. Now, well, probably not 30 yards. That's more like 20, 25 yards. All right, set piece into the box. What the heck is this? Just parking lot, I guess? No end. I guess there's no need for end stadiums at this size. All right, Gob. He lays it off, but it's too narrow. Easy clearance. We reset. Back into Gob again. Knocked away. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I feel good that we've equalized, right? All right, let's praise him here. I want to, you know, try to... Oh. All right, Henneke comes out and makes a play on the ball. I like that. like that. A good distribution. Beck out in space. He blows by the defenders. He's into the box. He crosses it right at the touchline, and nobody's there to tap it in. All right. Maybe they just need to, you know, they're still working the kinks out trying to get trying to get all this worked out. All right. Push forward. All right, there's a nice throw. Sommer cuts it inside. Oh, and he tries to place it near post, just goes wide. We did did not do bad there. But we have struggled for possession, and Beck has lost possession a lot. All right, excellent efforts. Play it calm. Let's get creative. Come on, boys. All right, Brosh takes the deep throw. That's too easy. Oh, who is this? It just got torched. Alta Baumer. Oh, you're not helping either. Come on. Oh, my God. And I think he's going to be sent off. Well, he got a yellow, but it's another penalty. That's the same side that we took that penalty last match. Different player because he's suspended. Oh, that's brutal. Come on, boys. Don't need to see that again. Jeez. All right, kickoff highlight. Let's do something with it. Not that. That wasn't what I was talking about. That's good. Gob into Sommer. Sommer from range. Oh, my God. We almost had an own goal off the rebound, off the keeper. Oh, come on. Oh, he's taken down. No card there? No card. Oh, come on. Back. Sommer back post. Yes! He's got his third goal. That's a brace for him today. And we are back to even footing. Good deal. All right, let's, let's take a look here. All right, Beck is tired. Let's bring Philip Kohler on for him. Polisteris. Can he play? Where can he play? Mid-center. All right, so we want somebody that can play defensive mid. He's got good passing. You know what? Well, He's got good marking and tackling. You know what? Let's put him in for Polisteris and see how he does. The lack of pace is very troubling, but he's a pretty stationary player. He just has to, you know, be defensive. All right, let's let's uh, let's demand a little more out of him. And they're pressured, okay? All right, let's pull our last sub, Heinrich. All right, Brosh. All right, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to cancel that and then let's go back and look at this again. All right. So we can move Kurt. We can move Kurt outside, right? 
Yes. And then we could take Heinrich off for Valar. All right. That's what we're going to do there. Don't mess around, fellas. All right. Decent ball. Headed out. Good job. Kohler with the clearance. All right. It's not to one of our guys. It's coming right back, but at least it gets it out of our end for just a minute and lets us get reset defensively. All right. This is where we always get penalized. What the hell? Come on. Keeper, it went right through your legs. Booze with a goal. What the heck happened there? That was brutal. That was horrible. The volley, and he just watches it. Ugh. Show some passion. All right, we're already attacking, so we're not we're not laying back. Not sure who we're actually kicking it to. All right, Cos Co Coleman, somebody. Headed down, Schuster, out to Brosh. He gets tackled, knocked away. He recovers. Oh, a little rebound into Cobb. Or Gob, not, I'm guessing that's Gob, not Cobb, but, or Gab, I don't know. Maybe it's gob. I think the umlauts give it the AU sound, the aw, maybe. Somebody educate me here. Ah, Summer sends that one wide. And we are going to fall short. I was hoping to pull a point here. We played well. I mean, you know, we need to work on the targeting there. But let's take a quick look at... Uh, you know, I'm going to go assertive. Unlucky boys. Let's take a look at their tactical knowledge. So they're pressing. They need to get a little better at marking and pressing. They're competent and accomplished. Position, role, and duty, those have always seemed to be... Um, and maybe I do change those just to a straight wing back. Let's go wing back attack. We'll try that moving forward. See how that works. Oh, Sommer with a brace. So I'm going to say he did have a good game. All right. How quick do we come back? I think we come back a little quick. Just, you know, new team. We want to get used to them. Let me, uh, let's see. They're 13th fourth, first, second. Do we want to do that? Why don't we do that? Let's come back for uh, Furwine and Kappenberger. And again, if I'm butchering the pronunciations, my apologies, it's not meant to be on purpose. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's come back for that. The top two clubs, so we'll come back pretty quick. We'll see how we fare against those guys. And then, you know, then we'll get, you know, then we'll get into the heart of the season and then we'll, we'll jump ahead a little bit. Well, guys hit that like button. It was a rough, rough video today. Uh, two losses, but uh, you know, we scored a couple of goals, gave up some really bad penalties, which cost us in both matches. You know, you're going to have days like that. And we are, uh, you know, we're just getting our feet wet with this club. So uh, we'll be back. We'll come back stronger than, than ever before, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Guys, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.